I like to think of cooking as an act of love. To prepare good food is to give health and happiness to those you love and yourself. My act of love starts early in the morning in my kitchen. Our kitchen is the center of our life, where we start and end our day. And the morning is my favorite time of the day, because everything is fresh and new, and I like to prepare a special breakfast for my daughter. This can be pancakes, fried rice, porridge, or a crunchy granola, which I will show you today. This breakfast cooking gives me the feeling of giving something very important to her. I love starting the day like this with her. And it doesn't matter if I cook at home or in my Michelin star kitchen. My motivation is always the same. It's my love and joy for food, and it's the passion of uh, sharing a wonderful meal. The craft of cooking connects the hands, the head, and the heart. And cooking for others can be an act of love, but it can also be an act of self-love too. Make yourself important enough to cook for, even if you're alone. Starting to cook always means for me putting on my apron. A lot of people ask me for a special tip in the kitchen, and I tell them to put on an apron because it is so simple and it makes you feel different. You instantly feel like a chef. <laughs> to me, my apron—it's like my uniform of love. So. One of the breakfast favorites of my daughter is the crunchy granola. And it is the perfect breakfast because it's made of wonderful, nourishing ingredients, and you can prepare it on stock. So you can serve it even with a very little time. The preparation is like meditation, and the smell while roasting is just lovely. I always do it at nighttime when everything is quiet again. And Yeah, if you make your, home own made, your own homemade granola, you can make it exactly the way you love it. With the basic recipe, you can play around and pick your favorite ingredients. And playing around is very important for home cooking. It's not about perfection. It's about discovering your own taste. So to make the granola, I will start. It's a very simple recipe. It looks like a lot here, but it's very simple. I start by mixing um, some honey or maple syrup with some kind of fat. Here I use some olive oil, but you could also use coconut oil or melted butter. To this, I add a big pinch of salt, because everything sweet tastes so much better with some salt. And now for the special flavor, I add the zest of, a, of an orange. Make sure, of course, it's untreated and well washed. I'm really in love with all the citrus flavors because they always add this special freshness to everything. So we also need the juice of the orange because the marinade is going to soak all the dry ingredients, and then after baking, it's going to be really crunchy. So this is like the secret for this granola: to soak, soak the ingredients first and then roast it in the oven. So together with the orange juice, I take some tea. I take this rooibos tea here. I love cooking with tea because it always works like a magic spice. And to put another spice in it, I use the cinnamon flowers. It's like a fresh cinnamon, but only with a sharp and peppery flavor and I grind them in a spice mill. It works like a pepper mill, or you can use any mortar. You should always use freshly ground spices, because the difference is so big, and it's the taste that counts. So, now I will need my roughly chopped nuts. Of course, you should always use a very good and sharp knife while cutting, and keep the tip of the knife on the board. This is always, people ask me, how can you cut so fast? I mean, it's not about cutting fast, but it's about taking care of what you do. And if you leave the tip on the board, you can cut it really nicely. And the nuts only need to be very rough. So this is going to be even more crunchy at the end. 
It doesn't matter which kind of nuts you're going to take. So here I have the pecan nuts, I have some almonds and hazelnuts. Just stir it in. And I just love nuts. I'm really, really in love with nuts. And I have my very, yes, I'm in love with a lot of things, I know. <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to restrict myself not to use the word love so many times, but I can't. So, <laughs> um, I have... <laughs> Yes. And I have my very own story with the nuts, because <laughs> we are told certain foods are good, then bad. I've seen so many trends, and in all my years of being involved in the culinary world, it's just the nuts remaining as healthy. So, yeah. So instead of getting confused about what to eat and worrying about the current food and health trends, feel free to choose whatever you like and enjoy. This is the most important thing. So if you pick the things you love and you cook it yourself out of fresh ingredients, it doesn't harm you. So then... <laughs> then I add the cereal flakes. This can be spelt flakes or some uh, rolled oats, like here. And I will finish my mix with uh, linseeds, the very old-fashioned superfood, and some sunflower seeds. You can also use pumpkin seeds or chia or just any seeds are working for this. Now just make sure that all the ingredients are well mixed. So everything needs to be covered with the marinade. So, done. Now we just put it on a baking tray. We need actually two for this amount. Just spread it and then put it in the oven at 140 degrees for 40 minutes. Toss the granola every 10 minutes while roasting. And then, after this, after cooling down, just put it in a big jar. And now, you will have your power breakfast ready, just by serving it with some creamy yogurt and fresh fruit. <laughs> so, <clears throat> good food has become the center of my life because it is the crossover of health and happiness, the two most important things in life. If people are asked what they wish for their children, it's always these two things first, health and happiness. Success or money always comes after this. So enjoy and don't worry too much. Be generous to others and yourself by making yourself the perfect granola and one more for a friend. Thank you. <laughs>